throw at us. Ed, it seemed like you got a lot of com contributions from, from all three lines. Is, how much communication is involved in that? How much of that is this experience? Three lines as in defense? Yeah, line, like just, the D-line, linebackers. And the oh, I mean, we work really hard in camp. One of our biggest things was communication. So we get a bunch of calls in. Everybody's talking. Everybody's communicating. And as long as we're all on the same page, we're going to be all right. We heard a lot in August about how much Dominique Ross has improved. Seeing what you were able to see from your vantage point, how good was he today? Um, man, he was an absolute baller today. They didn't catch a pass on him. He was in all of his run fits, all of his gaps. He played really well, and he's only going to get better every week because we've seen it. He's got more in him. We've seen it at practice. I was just going to say, is that kind of what you, a year ago maybe that guy wasn't really connecting like that? Is that what you saw pretty much every day in August? Yeah, that's been every day in August. I mean, he's getting the playbook. He knows the playbook, so there's no thinking involved. It's just everything's a reaction. And, and understanding that a lot of people had questions about <clears throat> excuse me, that position group coming into the season, to see that group play as well as they did today, how big is that a boost for you guys knowing Man, that you can build on that? That's awesome, forward. especially for me because those guys, they're going to shrink gaps. They're going to allow for me to play fast. And when you got a really good, strong linebacker core, you got a good defense. I mean, every day, John Ross, Dominique Ross, and Cole Holcomb, they bring the energy to practice. They got the most energy on the team. Nate was in here, and he, he took full credit for the loss with his interceptions and that type of stuff, as you kind of would expect. What, what have you seen out of his leadership in training camp and then maybe how he handled himself today? Nate's a great leader, man. He, he can't put that loss on him. I mean, they did a great job of preparing for us, so you got to give those guys all the credit. But Nate, he's a great leader. He comes in, works hard every day, and he's going to be in the film room trying to get better every time. I mean, he's a guy who's he loves the game. He's going to study his film. He's going to do everything he can to get better. How much can you guys build on the fact that the offense did put it together in the fourth quarter? And Nate, after having the game he had, he was 8-14 for 14 in that quarter, had some big runs, and he didn't let it wilt him. Oh, man, we're just going to build on it because as a defense, one thing we talk about today is we got to make sure when those guys aren't doing well, the same way that when we aren't doing well, they give us energy, they encourage us. So we got to do a better job of encouraging them, and we're just going to keep building. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate it.